Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. More if you're doing a different type of video, we're gonna be breaking down some of the new figures that McFarland Toys has revealed. Um, and um, so yeah, so they did. This is just gonna be covering some of the new DC Multiverse that they have revealed, and they did reveal uh, more than a few figures. So this is pretty cool. This is at San Diego Comic Con. Um, all the photos that you'll see. Um, prop mostly all of them that you'll see in this video are going to be from Toy Shiz's, uh, live stream. So, if you haven't, go check that out. Um, he's a really cool YouTuber, and, uh, I got all of these photos from him. So, yeah, we're going to be going over each figure one by one, looking at some of the new stuff that they got here. And, um, I'll be honest with you, some of the stuff looks actually really good. And, um, I'm really excited for some of them. And, um, yeah, we're going to get started with all that. But looking here at the first one, uh, we have Red Hood. Okay, so taking a look here at Red Hood, um, this looks like mainly a new release. And um, honestly, it looks really good. Um, I do like the new, like, the hood. And I honestly think I might pick this Red Hood up because... I don't have a Red Hood yet, and I've been looking to get one, but I didn't really want the, uh, like, the video game Gotham Knights version. Or what is it called? The I don't know what that game was called, but um, uh, I don't think I'm going to pick up that version. And the other one, I'm not sure. But this one, I think I might pick this one up. I really like this design. I think I think this is the same design that Spin Master did for their 4-inch Red Hood figure. And um, that one looks pretty good as well. But this one definitely looks a lot better. I like that it seems to have thigh cut. I'm pretty sure. And I like the red bands. And he has, um, at least what they've shown is he has a crowbar. And um, that crowbar looks to be the same one that comes with like all the other figures. Like the Joker. The clown one from the, um, what is it? The three Jokers wave. And then he comes with a katana as well. Which... It does look a little undersized, but still looks pretty good. Um, I really like it. I like the like the chrome red of the mask on the face sculpt. I like the boots. Um, he does. Wait a minute. Does he have? Um, I'm zooming in here on my screen. He has normal. I'm pretty sure he has normal, uh, like swivel hands, like Marvel Legend hands, like for the articulation. Uh, I might zoom in on the video and show you guys a picture, but it looks like it looks like he's got normal Marvel Legend um, hands, like in terms of the uh, like the hinges. So that's cool. That's that's different. They normally they do like the the, the way the imports do it, which is like the uh, the hinge, the McFarlane ball joint. But overall, I really like this Red Hood. I think I might pick this one up. He looks awesome. So, let's go into the next figure. Okay, so for the next figure, it's the... So, a while, a couple weeks back, they did re leak. Someone leaked the uh, the Batman, the 66 uh, TV show uh, multiverse figure. And that one looks pretty good. So, here we have a black and gray version. Um, overall, nothing too special does have like a it's a platinum edition and it does look like it has like a little qr code thing for like the mask that you could get like you could win uh i think that's what's going on there and then also um it comes with some pretty good amount of accessories uh i'm not gonna pick this one up i do have the i actually do have the black and gray tv series the retro carded one that they did and um it's a pretty cool figure but i don't really think i need another black and gray batman uh dc multiverse uh, for the TV show series, so I'm not gonna be picking this one up, but it does look pretty good So let's go into the next figure Okay, so the next figure that they have revealed here is the uh, The Dick Grayson Batman and I know they did actually reveal this a while back But now we have it in like full pictures Um, and this actually Batman looks really good now at first I don't read a lot of comics So at first I thought this is just a normal Batman and it looked awesome. I think it's using the um I actually have the figure right here. I think it's using the Nightfall Batman body mold, which that is a really great body mold. Uh, probably my fam my favorite Batman body mold that DC Multiverse has, and um, it looks really good. I think it has a new it has a new like um crotch piece. It's got new like gauntlets. Um, it has a wired cape, which is awesome. I forgot to mention that again with the TV series figures, 
And um, you can see in the background there, we have the Tim Drake Robin, which is like, I think it's now, just now starting to come out. At the time of recording this, I know that Brad the DC Universe Geek did a reveal, or a review of that, and it looks pretty good. I actually really want that Robin figure, so I gotta go find that in the wild. And then they do have the normal color Batman, but we already saw that before. And then, but going uh, back to the Dick Grayson Robin uh, Batman, it looks really good. I really like um, how this one looks. Um, I like that he's got like some sort of like knuckle bracers and yeah this looks really good i really like the belt as well and um the head sculpt looks pretty good as well i'm excited for the wired cape because i did just get the batman bane two-pack nightfall and this wired cape is awesome it's actually my first wired cape for an action figure and i love it so i'm super excited for this one um i might pick it up i might not i'm not sure yet um but overall this looks really good so yeah i'm excited for that one okay so next up here we have a new cyborg figure and this cyborg looks awesome i so the only other like kind of normal cyborg that they've made other than like the justice league version from the movie and then the animated series version from the like one of the shows um this is like other than that the only other normal cyborg that i think they've made is the flashpoint one which that's technically not normal he's like pretty big um, I don't know how many parts that, uh, this figure reuses from that, but I think it, it, it does look like a, a way more sw smaller, um, than the other one, so, uh, I'm not sure, but I think that it does have, uh, some new parts. You can see that they didn't really put the hand on right, on the right hand, his right hand, looks like it's sticking out on the peg, but... Um, he does have, like, this big gun, which I think that is a, um, the same one that came with the other figure, but I'm not sure, uh, cause it's, oh no, he had, like, a gun hand, actually, I'm sorry about that, but, um, yeah, so, I'm not sure, this one looks good, though, I, I do really want a cyborg figure, so, I might pick this one up, I'm not sure yet, but, um, this actually looks really good. And, um, I think I'll probably pick it up. Uh, I hope it comes with extra hands, though. But by the looks of it, I don't think it does. If I just, uh, have a look at it. Uh, he does come with a gun, but, yeah. It doesn't, he doesn't show any extra hands. So, that sucks. But, overall, this looks like a pretty good Cyclops. I think most, not Cyclops, Cyborg. Most of it is new. Um, so, yeah, that looks really good. And I think, uh, I might be ending up picking that up they got a lot of great reveals today which is uh awesome uh so yeah that's cyborg okay so the next figure that they revealed uh in terms of new figures they have here the um hugo strange in a batman outfit so i don't really know what comic storyline this is from because i don't read uh i haven't read any comic books with uh hugo strange like i know he's a batman villain and that he's like a mad doctor but other than that i don't know really anything about Hugo Strange, um, but he looks pretty cool, uh, like, he's got a beard there, it's not, like, the greatest angle of him, but he does have, uh, I think this is on the three Jokers body mold, and by the looks of it, I think he has a wired cape, but I could be wrong there, I think they might have updated it and given him a wired cape for the three jokers body mold and he does come with extra hands i think those are extra fists i don't have the greatest angle but he does also have a um and like a, a mask pulled off like i think that's supposed to be bruce wayne head so that looks really cool so you got like the a mask of bruce wayne and that looks really good this is a platinum edition um and overall this is pretty cool uh i think Everybody would agree that we would have liked a normal Hugo Strange, but this is still uh, cool, but I'm definitely not going to be picking this one up. doesn't tickle my fancy. So, overall, uh, this is a pretty cool release, but I'm not going to be picking this up. So, let's go to the next figure. Okay, so next up, what we have here is uh, Bullseye Batman. So, this is just another Platinum Edition of... The, it's reusing the um, Nightfall Batman body mold. And um, basically it's Batman with a giant bullseye on him. It's like another costume for him. Uh, I've never read anything with this in him. Or never seen any uh, 
I've never seen this suit for Batman. So, and also, I'm definitely not going to be picking this one up. Uh, it does look cool, but this is, th if I were to get this, this would definitely be, like, a clearance find. Um, I think it's the same thing with, like, Hugo Strange as well. But, um, uh, this is, it's alright. It does come with the extra fist and the Batarang that the Nightfall Batman comes with. Um, but, overall, it's nothing special. Um, I'm actually looking at the cape. I think this is reusing the, um, uh, specifically the Nightfall Batman that came in the Bane 2 pack. Because by the looks of it, it has a wired cape. Because it does not, um, it's jutting off to the other side, um, on the picture. And you can see that the, and the, um, uh, I might put up a picture. But the regular release Nightfall Batman, uh, in the blue and gray and the black and gray doesn't have, it's going off to the other side, the cape. Because it's a hard plastic cape. But this one... It looks like a cloth cape. So that's cool. At least he's getting a cloth cape. But this isn't for me. I'm definitely not going to be picking this one up. So, um, yeah, it's all right. But let's go to the next figure. Uh, I just wanted to show off here. Got a cool uh, whole look of all the figures that DC Multiverse has. Well, not all of them, but some of the figures that they've done for this year. And some new ones as well. Like the Manhunter that I didn't go over. But because that was previously released. We got the new Reverse Flash, the um, Joker and Punchline 2-pack, the um, Sportsmaster, the Dark Side, which looks really cool, Cyborg Superman, and then uh, a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, let's move to the next one. Okay, so the next new DC Multiverse that they have revealed here is the um, Dark Knight Returns... Um, Batman figure, and this is from the Dark Knight Returns storyline, where, um, uh, the Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns storyline, and, um, they did do a whole wave on this, the, consisting of, like, the Dark Knight Joker, um, the, or the Dark Knight Returns Joker, the Superman, the Batman, and then the Carrie Kelly Robin, which I do have the Carrie Kelly Robin. It's an alright figure. Um, I got it at GameStop on clearance, but this Batman does look really good. Uh, seems to be reusing the exact same body mold as the previous Batman that they revealed. But I think he's got some new hands here. And, um, uh, he looks pretty good. He does, this one does have battle damage on him. Which I think that's really cool, uh, that they did that. I, I like that they're doing a lot more battle damage. Like, uh, well not a lot more, but they're doing it. Uh, like, obviously with the Batman and Bane 2 pack, uh, bat. The Nightfall Batman is battle damage, which I love this Batman. Might be my favorite Batman ever. Let me know if y'all want to see a review on that. But going back to the Dark Knight Returns Batman, this looks really cool. And he comes with an alternate head. So he does come with a uh, Bruce Wayne head. And then he comes with a Batman head, which looks a lot like the 66 Batman. Um, but, like, obviously it's not the same sculpt. But it looks like he's got, like, that same, like, design on the forehead. Uh, he does come with two... Fisted hands, I think, two, uh, like, gr gripping hands, and then one, like, open hand. And then he does have, uh, like, one hand that has, like, claws in the knuckles, which I haven't read this book, so I'm not quite sure. And then he does have, as well, the, um, what's it called? The, like, rope with the batarang at the end, which this is not posable. I think that's the same sculpt from the previous one. And so that looks uh looks all right. And then uh this is a collector's edition. So uh one thing that it comes with is this is awesome. I like that they're doing more props. They did this with the Superboy figure that they revealed, which he has like a ground, uh like the earth like breaking apart in the ground. Um when he like flies down. This he comes with a lamp. So that's really cool. I like that he comes with this lamp. Um it looks really cool. That'd be great for like um a prop for like some stop motions. Um but, yeah, that looks really cool. I like he's got, like, the green. I think it's supposed to be shading uh, for the green because it just, like, stops at a slant. And then he does have, like, the curb and then the yellow bulb. So, yeah, that looks really cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to be picking this one up just because I don't really care for the Dark Knight Returns um, storyline or the Batman. But uh looks good. So, let's go to the next figure. Okay. So, for the next figure here, we have a new... Slade Wilson Deathstroke, and this one looks awesome. This is reusing the same Rebirth body that came with the, um, uh, that was on the old Rebirth Deathstroke 
which was in a black, white, and uh, orange color scheme, which I was actually, like, I was thinking of picking that one up because that one looks really good. Uh, but now we have this new one, which uh, he has, like, a bunch of weapons, which looks really cool. I think he has, like, a baton, a sword, and then he's got, like, one weapon on his back, which... I don't know what that is, but it's probably holding on to the, like, he had a clip on his back for, like, for the sword that he came with on the old one to clip in. And then, so that's probably how that one's staying on. And then, it looks really good. This one is, this time, in a blue and orange color scheme, so this one looks really good. He also has the, like, one white part on his arm. I wish he had more white or orange just to break it up, because it does, the blue looks more prominent but um i wish he had more white in it and orange to break it up because you can see like some seam lines on it um so i wish they did that to break it up and then the main difference we have a slade wilson head sculpt now this looks really good um uh i think it looks really great he has like the eye patch the hair they do have like a nice gray wash on the hair and the beard as well so overall this looks really good um, I don't think I'll be picking this one up just because if I was to get a Destro, because he doesn't look like he comes with uh, an alternate head with the mask on, which kind of sucks. So if I were to get a Deathstroke, I would want one with the helmet, which I don't have a Deathstroke yet. So I don't. I think I'm going to be passing on this one unless he comes with an alternate head that they haven't revealed, but I don't think so. So um, I'll, I'll probably pass on this, but if he does come with a helmeted head, I might get it. Uh, cause I, I do really want a Deathstroke and this one looks great. Uh, so yeah, a uh, great alternate head. So yeah, let's go move on to the next figure. Okay, so the last figure that I have here today in this reveal video, we have the Damian Wayne Robin. And this one looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I think I'll probably be picking this one up. Uh, he looks really great. The, well, we'll get into that later, but, um... He comes with a katana and an open hand and then a uh, fisted hand, which I don't know if that's the only hands that he comes with. Um, I hope he comes with more accessories. He does have a cloth wired cape, which is awesome. I love that they're doing that with their figures now. Hasbro, y'all gotta step up your game. I know that they just did a um, cloth cape of the for the Doctor Doom in the Cabal 3-pack, which I do want that one. I think I'll be getting it soon. I'm not sure. Uh, no promises. But um, the, he has a cloth cape, but not it's not wired. So Hasbro, y'all got to step at your game. Because though Marvel Legends are priced more than DC Multiverse. And they're, honestly, they're doing better in terms of, like, like the cloth, the capes and stuff. Like, that's just awesome. Um, uh, but, yeah, the uh, the figure looks really good. At first, when I saw it, like, I thought it was kind of a statue just because how good it looked. And he has, like, uh, the, the thing that made me think that the most is the torso. Because it has, like, the, I don't know if it has, a, like, a slight gray wash in it, but it looks great. And the head sculpt looks great as well for Damian Wayne. Um, I think this has, is, is on a new body mold. Uh, the arms might be reused. And maybe the shoes, but I think everything else is new. Maybe the legs, I'm not sure. Um, I think the head sculpt is new as well. Um, but overall, this looks like a great figure. Um, uh, the only thing that I have a problem with um, is the torso articulation. It Like, I know DC Multiverse already doesn't get good torso articulation. But with this now, I don't think he's going to get any torso articulation, which sucks. So, I hope that they, like show us off like what the range is in that torso because i don't think he doesn't have like a diaphragm joint he might have a like a like the the like the belly rocker at the waist so i hope he has that and i hope he gets some good range but other than that that's my only gripe and this figure looks amazing i hope he comes with more accessories though so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this um video guys i hope you enjoyed the uh everything here that they revealed looks pretty good uh, i think i'll definitely get the well not definitely but i think i want to get the red hood um the let's see what else was there i gotta go back um so yeah the red hood i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna pass on the dark knight returns batman 
the um I might get the uh definitely I think I'm gonna pass on the Hugo Strange and Bullseye Batman. But I might get the uh Damian Wayne uh not Damian uh Dick Grayson uh Batman. I might get the cyborg as well because that one looks really good. Um trying to see what else here. Uh that's probably that's that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna get the black and gray T V series uh Batman. But yeah, so I think I wanna get the Dick Grayson Robin and the Red Hood and the um Cyborg. So yeah, those are my three that I want. So yeah guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I might even do this for the new Marvel Legends that they reveal. Uh, at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con, and uh, honestly, this probably isn't even all the DC Marvel figures that they reveal. They might even reveal some new figures after this video, after I film this, which I hope they don't do because um, that would suck. But um, yeah, I want to make another video if they reveal more stuff. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do video today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that drum roll, and let me know. Do you guys want to see a Batman Nightfall? um batman battle damage with bane two-pack review so yeah guys uh that's gonna do the video so i'll see you on the next one peace